Hey gang, uh, Dr. Brian here. Just wanted to come to you real quick and show you something we use in the office. Um, you know, if you've known me very long and you've watched too many of my videos, you know that I'm, I'm a big fan of analogies. Um, sometimes an analogy can take a complex idea and break it down and make it really easy to understand. And I love that concept. Um, in our office, one of the concepts that we use, or one of the one of the analogies that we use, is based on a book from 1920. I think is when the book was published, called the Chiropractic Textbook, and in that book is a is a an idea called the safety pin cycle. Technically, it's called the normal complete cycle, and it has to do with the way our brains and our bodies talk to each other internally, so that everything regulates and, and is controlled and heals like it's supposed to. So we boil it down to the safety pin cycle. So we have a giant safety pin, as you see here. So the the orientation is this: imagine the head of the safety pin is your brain. And the spring down here at the bottom is an organ, let's say your heart, for a great example. Um, your brain and your heart have to talk to each other so your body can adapt properly. Now your heart is intrinsically active, it doesn't require input from the brain in order to beat, it does it on its own, but it does require input from the brain to be able to change heart rate or strength of contraction when things change, when there's more demand placed on your body. So if we imagine, here's the way this kind of works. So the brain creates these messages that there's a response that needs to happen, it's a change that needs to happen. It sends information down one side, let's say, we call this the efferent pathway or the, the downstream pathway. The information gets to the heart, the heart makes the change it needs to make, and then it sends feedback back to the brain up the afferent or the ascending pathway. So the brain gets the information and says, cool, we made the change we needed to make. Or, hey, we made a change, but it's not enough, we need to send more information. So, so more information travels down the efferent pathway. What we deal with in our office is called a subluxation. And a subluxation is best visualized kind of like this. It doesn't mean that the, the nerve is disconnected. It means there's some sort of an interference, some sort of a, a, a break in the communication pattern so that your brain and your body are not talking to each other. And this kind of a subluxation can happen either on the afferent or the efferent side. Excuse me, the afferent or the efferent side. It doesn't make a difference really. The end result is the same, is that the heart doesn't get the information that it needs to, from the brain, and the brain doesn't get the information it needs back from the heart. So as a chiropractor, what we do is we actually go in and help to re, uh, re-establish the normal patterns, I guess is the right way to put that, or restore those normal patterns. So we basically reconnect the, the pathway so that the safety pin is complete. That's chiropractic in a nutshell. If you ever wondered how it works, that's kind of the most basic, simple explanation I can come up with. Um, and it seems to work for a lot of people, so hopefully it helps you understand a little better. Have a great day, and if there's something we can do to help you, please either comment down below, shoot us a message on Facebook, or give Michelle a call at the office at 317-565-1726. We'd love to help you and your family out. Have an awesome day today, and we'll talk to you soon.